Today, we're going to learn how to do a beautiful Veronica Lake wave. It's challenging, but with practice, you'll be able to recreate this totally glamorous look all by yourself. Hi, I'm Isabel. Let's get started. You're going to need a medium hold hairspray. I'm using L'Oreal Infinium Force 3. You'll also need a thermal fixing spray. I'm using L'Oreal Techna Art Ply. You'll need plenty of duckbill clips, just make sure they don't have teeth. You want to gently hold the hair in place, not dent it. It's also good to have a few roller clips handy. They're great for smaller hair sections. You'll need a heat resistant tail comb. It is very, very important that it's heat resistant or you might end up with melted plastic in your hair. You will need a boar bristle tail brush. You can find these at any beauty supply shop. I'm using a one and one quarter inch professional curling iron. You can use whatever iron you'd like. Just remember that the smaller the barrel, the tighter the curl, and the bigger the barrel, the looser the curl. Have some small pieces of paper handy. Any kind will do. I'm using tissue paper. I already prepared the hair with plenty of thermal fixing spray. You can do that or spray it section by section. It's up to you. I'm preparing the hair with a curl set to give the wave structure. You can skip this step if you'd like and go straight to waving, but you can only do that with wet hair and stronghold gel. It has to be 100% dry before you take the clips out, which can take an eternity. Rolling the hair takes a bit more work, but it's much faster in the long run. Make a severe side part and make your first curl horizontal to it. Each section should be as wide as your curling iron. All of the curls should move away from the part, not towards it. Try to keep the curls as uniform as possible. Continue straight down until you reach your ear. Move to the other side and repeat the process. Comb each piece carefully before curling it. You want these curls to be as neat and clean as possible. You can use your tail comb to create a barrier between the iron and your scalp for safety. You know the curl is ready when the hair is hot to the touch. Just make sure you're only touching the hair, not the iron. Try to keep the curl as intact as possible while sliding out the iron. Remember, as long as the hair is hot, it's being shaped. So keep that curl nice and tight and secure it in place with a duckbill clip. Be sure to slide the clip in from the back. If you use it in the front, it can leave a dent. Once you've completed the second side, roll the rest of your hair downwards. Your end result should look something like this. Once your hair has completely cooled, carefully remove the clips. Using the tail end of your boar bristle brush, take a section midway through your top curl. Gently back comb. Repeat section by section until the whole side is blended. This will help give the hair structure while you shape it. Give the whole side a healthy mist of hairspray. Now, here's the part where it gets tricky. Don't be discouraged if you don't get it right away. But this is a style that takes patience and practice, but if you keep at it, you will get there. This is a style that most of our great grandmoms could do with their eyes closed. If they can do it, so can you. Start to gently brush the hair into a rough version of the wave, focusing on top. Once you've gotten the basic shape, switch to your tail comb. Place the teeth firmly against your scalp and slide the comb slightly upwards and forwards. This will give your wave volume. 
place your finger firmly against your scalp alongside the comb. Then comb the hair in the opposite direction, thus creating your first wave. Take a ductile clip and carefully slide it into place where your finger is. You can do the same from both sides for extra security. Do not remove your finger until you feel the clip is secure. Once the clips are in, Carefully slide a piece of paper between your hair and the clip. This will prevent indents. Again, press the teeth of the comb firmly against the scalp and slide the comb upwards. Place another finger firmly alongside the comb. Then comb the hair in the opposite direction. Take a clip and carefully slide it into place. Put another piece of paper between the clip and your hair. Once you reach the ends of your hair, switch to roller clips. The weight of a duckbill clip will weigh down the wave. Repeat the same procedure on the other side. You don't need to go the whole way down because this side gets tucked behind the ear. Brush out the back and give your waves an intense shot of hairspray. Leave your hair to sit for at least 15 minutes. When you remove your clips, make sure you do it very gently and very carefully. 
And that's it. Easy, right? I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I know there's a lot of steps involved to get there, but once you master it, you'll be so glad you did. I'm Isabel, signing off for HairstyleStars.com. <laughs>